Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another PSD to CSS Online video tutorial. Today, we're going to look at the feature base name. Um, a lot of people are using uh, PSD to CSS Online to build different parts of their page. They have, a, a, for example, a nav bar, navigation bar at the top, and they want to make one PSD file just for the navigation uh, bar and then use the same code that's generated across a number of pages. And uh, by default, PSD to CSS Online makes uh, all its images and layer names uh, named layer dash one, layer dash two, layer dash three. So if you try to mix two pages, for example, a navigation bar and and you know one of the one of the body, one of the rest of the pages, um, if you try to mix them in one HTML file, we're going to have naming collisions. You'll have two layer ones and two layer twos, and that's of course bad. You'll have uh, two layer one PNGs and two layer two PNGs as well. So uh, so what we have to solve the problem is the base name uh, layer naming convention and I'm going to show you how to use that. So we'll take a look here at a, photo, at a couple of Photoshop files. I have one called body.psd. This uh, would be an example of a, it's obviously very simple, but this would be an example of one of many uh, pages that you would want on a website, uh, but you want them all to have the same navigation bar. So you can see I've got some space there at the top for a navigation bar. And then this other PSD file, that is my navigation bar. Um, again, very simple. There's no text in the buttons. Those are all rollover buttons. But um, but the trick here, as always, with uh, PSD to CSS Online is in how you name these layers. So uh, what we do is in is one of the layers in each of these files, just one of them, um, you name with the underscore base name uh, uh, layer naming convention. In this case, uh, I've got I've called it nav underscore base name. This is for the uh, navigation bar here on the left. Um, the letters NAV, whatever's in front of underscore base name, that's what that's what all the images and layers are going to be named instead of layer one. That PNG and layer two. That PNG and layer three. That PNG. It's going to be nav one. That PNG. Nav two. That PNG. Nav three. That PNG. Um, and likewise, the names of the layers inside the file. So all you have to do is is name one layer with that underscore base name there, and it and it works for you. So uh, uh, so you can see there, I have nav underscore base name is uh, one of the layers I have in my navigation bar. And then likewise over here in my example of a body page, I've got body underscore base name. So all of the images in this one will be called body1.png, body2.png, or JPEG. Um, all the layers will be called body1, body2, and body3. And this way I can cut and paste the generated HTML code from both of these files. I can cut and paste them into one HTML file. And, uh, and I don't have to worry about fixing anything up. I don't have to worry about having two layer1 PNGs or, or having two layer1 uh, div layers. So. Uh, so let's uh, let's go ahead and shoot those through PSD to CSS online and see how it how it works. Here we are at uh, PSD to CSS. I will go ahead and just choose. Oh, I should have gone there first. Here we go. Here's one of my uh, here's body.psd. I'll upload that one first. And PSD to CSS online will chug away. Ooh, that was quick. Okay. I will download this the zip file with all of my sources. You can see we've got uh, body dash zero, the body dash one, body dash two. Not the uh, the old style layer or the default style layer one, layer two, layer three. And it even makes a body dot html instead of an index dot html. So you can easily just copy these every, all of the output from the conversion into one folder and not worry about accidentally uh, copying over an index.html file. Uh, so I'll go ahead and grab those and throw them in this base name folder. There we go, that's the base name folder. Now we will make another and convert the uh, the body.psd file. Oops, I just did that, didn't I? Here. Let's uh, make another and we will now convert the nav.psd file. Sorry about that. And it will convert. Du, 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 du. There we go. We'll open up this zip, zip file. 
and grab all the stuff generated there and throw it into the same folder. It's going to overwrite the uh, the jQuery.js file, and that's okay. It's exactly identical, no matter what you uh, no matter what your conversion is. The jQuery file is identical. It comes from those folks over at jQuery. Um, let's see here. So, what we want to do now is edit one of these HTML files by cutting and pasting all of the important information from one of them into the other. So, uh, we'll uh, let's see if I can do it this way. Edit with Vim. Here we go. So here's my favorite text editor again. And we are currently in nav.html. And what we want to do is we want to cut all the style stuff out of one, out of the nav file, and we'll put it right next to the style stuff for the uh, for the body file. So I just pasted it. You can, it's hard to tell, but you can see here's a, a nav element and a nav and a nav still got nav elements, nav, nav, nav. All this stuff from our nav file. Find the end of it. Here we go. And here's a nav again. And the end of our style. And that's what I just pasted into this file. Here's the beginning of what was already here. The, the style for body. You can see there's body one. So I'm just proving that it's all in the same file. So we'll go back over to the nav portion here. And we want to grab now the appropriate JavaScript. Now the only tricky part of this whole thing is we don't want to copy timer ID and uh, document ready as well because those are already over on the other side and if you have two of those in one JavaScript area um, they're going to collide you're going to have problems and uh, so you just take what's inside document ready so this is oops is that it right oh, here we go but uh, where's the rest of the end of the JavaScript here we go. Just grab that, and we'll go find the JavaScript here, and we can just paste it into the top. There you go. So now I've pasted the JavaScript from nav. You can see this nav-related JavaScript here. And there's also body-related JavaScript here. So those are mixed. And the last portion that we have to cut and paste over is the actual HTML, everything between the body tags, the HTML body tags. Probably shouldn't have named that one layer, that one page body. But I'll copy that. Head back over here to my. Here, here's the nav stuff, and here's the body stuff. So you can see that I've cut and pasted three sp separate sections from one of the HTML files to the other. The uh, the CSS definitions, the, any JavaScript that might be generated, and the HTML itself. And when I go ahead and save that body.html, now if we look at it, sure enough, here we've got our functioning nav bar, just exactly as we, uh, just as exactly as we had drawn it, and in the same page, the elements from our body, PSD. So now you can use the same technique to uh, to cut and paste um, the uh, the nav bar into as many different kinds of body pages as you'd like. Name them whatever you want. Of course, they don't have to be nav, nav and body. But, uh, but uh, yeah, you just take the separate files, make sure you have an underscore base name layer in each one, um, and then you can cut and paste without having to worry about colliding uh, image names and colliding CSS names, and, uh, and you can have reusable components based on your Photoshop drawings. Thanks.